Dyson, the brand that makes vacuum cleaners, air purifiers, hair care products, also makes headphones. These are the Dyson on track headphones. Technically, not the first audio product from the British brand. Dyson had these unique looking noise cancelling headphones called the Dyson Zone last year, which had an air purifying visor, which we also demoed on Tech Today as well. But these are proper out and out headphones and they come with the usual Dyson price tag of Rs 44,900. Should you really be shelling out this much money on Dyson headphones? I spent a few days wearing these to bring you the answer to this question. First things first, just take a look at this design. These are bold, loud and a definite head turner. Every time I put these headphones on and I'm roaming out in the public, I get so many looks from people all around. But you know what? The best part, these are completely customizable. These outer ear cups are replaceable. These inner ear cushions are also replaceable. And Dyson has sent us multiple colors to change these and customize the look the way we please. But of course, all of these come at an additional 5,000 rupees of expense. Besides the design, Dyson has put in a lot of time, effort and money into the build quality. The headband is very soft. It's very customizable. The inner ear cushions are made out of microfiber material and not leatherette, which makes them really comfortable to wear and also eliminates the sweat problem completely that comes with leatherette finishes on headphones. However, all of this extra engineering comes at the cost of weight. They are 451 grams in weight. Let's talk sound quality. These headphones sound very crisp, very balanced, very clean audio. Instrument separation is great. But overall, the output was pretty flat. We Indians are bass lovers and when I wanted to hear some bass heavy tracks like Fred Against Places To Be on these Dyson on track headphones, I felt that these were lacking a bit. In the bass department especially, even when you turn on the enhanced EQ mode on the Dyson app, the headphones just don't seem to cut it. What I did like though was the active noise cancellation. Travelling in Mumbai can be a loud and stressful experience and when I put these Dyson on track headphones while travelling in the Mumbai trains, almost all of the chatter and the noise around me was shut down. I mean, yes, there was that odd noise of the train passing by me, but overall, these did a pretty good job. I'm fairly confident that on long flights, these would be a great companion. And speaking of long flights, I also want to talk about the battery life. Dyson claims 55 hours of battery life even with ANC turned down, and I honestly don't think that claim is far off. Because I've been testing these for over a week, I've only charged them once and they've lasted me well throughout my testing phase. I also like that the headphones have a battery pack on either side of the headband. This not only gives it the stellar battery life, but also balances out the weight pretty evenly. Now here are a few things I did not like on these Dyson OnTrack headphones. On each side of the ear cups, you get a touch zone to switch between ANC and transparency mode. But this area, this sensor is so poorly located, I often had trouble locating them with just my fingers. Eventually, I resorted to just using my entire palm and double tapping to switch between ANC and transparency. Another thing I did not like was the Dyson app on the phone. It's a pretty bare bones experience. You only get the toggles between ANC, transparency and switching that entirely off. And the EQ has just three options, which is not customizable either. There is, however, a nice graph, the dB level graph between your inner ear sounds and the outer ear sounds. But I almost always got anxiety when I was looking at that graph. And I'm also not a fan of the travel case that comes with these headphones since it takes up a lot of space inside the bag and these don't fold either. Moreover, when you want to travel with these around your neck, look at how big they are, these ear cushions. They take up so much space, it's very uncomfortable. I just don't like it. Okay, so at the end of the day, if you really want to buy these Dyson on-track headphones, what you'll get is a pretty decent audio experience, probably one of the best looking headphones on the market. But overall, you may not be as satisfied as you want to be. 